Good morning, my friends. Welcome to William Jean's Memorial Library Sensory Storytime. I'm Miss Rachel, and I'm so happy to spend this time with you this morning. If you would like to get ready for our um, shaker song and our scarf song a little bit later, you can grab something that, hold on a second, I'm very sorry. I forgot to take my gum out. If you would like to grab something um, that you can shake around, anything that makes noise that you can shake. You don't have to have shaker eggs like these. You can use a rattle or a maraca or a set of keys or um, any kind of dried grain or bean in any kind of container, anything that makes a noise where you can just shake yourself. That works too. You can grab something to use for a scarf to wave around, whether it is um, a scarf that somebody might wear or you can use a napkin or a piece of clothing, anything at all. So you can get those things ready. And you can see up here what it is that we're going to do together this morning. We'll start with our welcome song. And I, um, I had trouble getting into the part of Facebook where I could see if people responded um, with their child's name. So if you are watching live and you would like um, me to sing a child's name in the welcome song, Go ahead and put it in the comments for me so I can say hello to you. And after the welcome song, we'll read our first book. And then we'll do another song together and get moving a little bit. Then we'll read our second book. When we get to this song, you'll know it's time to get out your shaker. That's when we'll do the shaker song. Then we'll do our scarf song. And of course, always, 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 I will blow bubbles for you when we get to the very end. And when we used to meet together here at the library, we would always enjoy a sensory activity at the end of our um, story time. And I'm so sad that we can't do that together anymore, but I encourage you to take some time after story time and enjoy a sensory activity, whether it's playing in a bin of dried beans or sand or dried not cooked rice or water beads or feathers um, or going outside and lying in the grass and feeling and smelling the smells and someday hopefully we will enjoy some sensory activities together again but for now we'll do what we can and we'll start with our welcome song good morning to all of you whoops where did I go Let's say hello to our friends, to our friends, to our friends. Say hello to our friends, we're glad you're here today. Let's say hello to Janya, to Janya, to Janya. Say hello to Janya, we're glad you're here today. Let's say hello to Luca, to Luca, Luca. Say hello to Luca, we're glad you're here today. Let's say hello to Lorenzo, Lorenzo, Lorenzo. Say hello to Lorenzo, we're glad you're here today. Let's say hello to Brayden, to Brayden, Brayden. Say hello to Brayden, we're glad you're here today. Let's say hello to Kaylin, Kaylin, Kaylin. Say hello to Kaylin, we're glad you're here today. Let's say hello to Eva, Eva, Eva. Say hello to Eva, we're glad you're here today. We are so glad you're here. Welcome and good morning. I'm excited to read our first book to you. This is a new book this year and it's especially important and special right now of all times. It's called Together We Grow. I'm gonna read it with permission of the publisher, Simon and Schuster. This beautiful new book is written by Susan Vaught and it's illustrated by Kelly Murphy. And George is going to move over here for a minute so I can move my chair over so that I can really show you the pictures very well. Together we grow. Lightning gash, windy lash. Rain and thunder, home asunder. K 
careful glances, taking chances. You see the fox trying to get into the barn during the storm. Frightened faces, strange new places. Paws in need, beaks to feed. See all the animals that are already living inside the barn? They have a lot of animals to take care of inside the barn. And they're not sure about this strange new face, the fox peeking in the window. Go away! We're full today! See the fox. Rain soaked, lonely, a hope, if only. What do you see on this page? Mm hmm, that's what I see too. There's a friend, a kind little friend, drying tears, calming fears. Learn and show, together we grow. See all the other animals are coming out to see what the little duckling is doing with the fox family. Flat or long, screech or song, slow or quick, lumpy and slick. Those are words to describe all the different ways that the animals are animals. All their different characteristics. Brindle and gray. Those words describe the horses. Dapple or bay. Different kinds of horses. Shell and scales. Snail has a shell. This little creature has scales. Love prevails. That means wins. Love wins. Large or small. Short and tall. There is room. There is room. There is room. For us all. There was a place for every creature inside the barn. At the beginning, those animals were a little bit worried because so many creatures already lived in the barn. But one little duckling went out and talked to the fox family and taught all the rest that they could take care of each other and the fox family could come into the barn too. And they did. Together We Grow is a beautiful new book this year. All right, I see that Lena and Logan are here. So even though we already sang our welcome song, we can add a little verse in there to say good morning. Let's say hello to Lena, to Lena, to Lena. Say hello to Lena, we're glad you're here today. Let's say hello to Logan, to Logan, Logan. 
Say hello to Logan, we're glad you're here today. We're so glad you're here, Lena and Logan, and our other friends too. We're going to do a song that gets us moving around a little bit, but also helps us practice stopping. Because it's important for us to know that sometimes when we hear someone say stop, we have to learn to freeze and stop right away. So this is a fun song that we can do to practice moving around, moving around, moving around, and then stopping too. Let's start with wiggling, my favorite. We wiggle and wiggle and stop. We wiggle and wiggle and stop. We wiggle and wiggle and wiggle and wiggle and wiggle and wiggle and stop. Are you stopping on time? Good practicing. We clap and we clap and we stop. We clap and we clap and we stop. We clap and 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 we stop. We wave and we wave and we stop. We wave and we wave and we stop. We wave and 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 we stop. We pat and we pat. We pat and we pat and we stop. We pat and 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 we stop. Now, when we're all together and I have more space, because I don't have a computer in front of me, this is one of my favorites. So I'm going to try this, and you try it at home, even though you won't be able to see my face. Are you ready? We twirl and we twirl and we stop. We twirl and we twirl and we stop. Are you getting dizzy? I'm getting really dizzy, but I'm going to do it again. We twirl and 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 we stop. Woo! We bounce and we bounce and we stop. We bounce and we bounce and we stop. We bounce and 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 we stop. We shake and we shake and we stop. We shake and we shake and we stop. We shake and 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 we stop. Let's do one more wiggle before we're finished. We wiggle and wiggle and stop. We wiggle and wiggle and stop. We wiggle and 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 stop. That's some good practicing. And we got a lot of good wiggles out so that we are ready for our next book. Our next book is a little bit longer. It's so much fun. It's one of my very favorites because it has monkeys in it, and I love monkeys. It's called Caps for Sale, and it was my favorite book when I was younger. It's a tale of a peddler, which means someone who sells something. Some monkeys and their monkey business. It is told and illustrated by Esper Slabankera. I don't know if I say that right, but I did my best. I'm going to read this one with permission from the publisher, publisher Harper Collins. Caps for sale. All right, a little closer again. Once there was a peddler who sold caps, but he was not like an ordinary peddler carrying his wares on his back. He carried them on top of his head. First, he had on his own checked cap, then a bunch of gray caps, then a bunch of brown caps, then a bunch of blue caps, and on the very top, a bunch of red caps. Now, when I read this book at story time in person, and all my friends can talk with me, they tell me, that's not red. That's not blue, that's not brown. So, you can imagine, 
that the words are whatever color you think they are. If you think that's orange or gray or beige or tan or yellow, you can imagine that. I will get too confused if I don't read the words on the page. So I'm going to use the colors that the words say on the page and you use your imagination and imagine them whatever colors they look like to you. All right, he walked up and down the streets holding himself very straight so as not to upset his caps. As he went along, he called, Caps! Caps for sale! Fifty cents a cap! One morning, he couldn't sell any caps. He walked up the street, and he walked down the street, calling, Caps! Caps for sale, 50 cents a cap. But nobody wanted any caps that morning. Nobody wanted even a red cap. He began to feel very hungry, but he had no money for lunch. I think I'll go for a walk. In the country, said he, and he walked out of town slowly, slowly, so as not to upset his cap. Now, you might think that means he didn't want to make his caps upset or angry. But in this case, it means to topple them off of his head. To upset something can mean to mess it up, turn it upside down, make it fall down. So that's what he was trying to avoid by walking slowly, was upsetting or making his caps fall. He walked for a long time until he came to a great big tree. That's a nice place for a rest, thought he. And he sat down very slowly under the tree and leaned back little by little against the tree trunk so as not to disturb the caps on his head. Then he put his hand up to feel if they were straight. First his own checked cap, then the gray caps, then the brown caps, then the blue caps, then the red caps on the very top. They were all there. So he went to sleep. He slept for a long time. When he woke up, he was refreshed and rested. But before standing up, he felt with his hand to make sure his caps were in the right place. All he felt was his own checked cap. He looked to the right of him, no caps. He looked to the left of him, no caps. He looked in back of him, no caps. He looked behind the tree. No caps. Then he looked up into the tree. And what do you think he saw? I gave you a clue when I told you about what was in this book. On every branch sat a monkey. And on every monkey was a gray or a brown or a blue or a red cap. The peddler looked at the monkeys. The monkeys looked at the peddler. He didn't know what to do. Finally, he spoke to them. You monkeys, you! finger at them, he said. You give me back my caps. But the monkeys only shook their fingers back at him and said, <laughs> This made the peddler quite angry. So he shook both hands at them and said, You monkeys, you! You give me back my caps! But the monkeys only shook both their hands back at him and said, Now he felt quite 
angry. He stopped his foot and he said, you monkeys, you, you better give me back my caps. But the monkeys only stamped their feet back at him and said, By this time, the peddler was really very, very angry. He stamped both his feet and shouted, You monkeys, you! You must give me back my cups! But the monkeys only stamped both their feet back at him and said, The monkeys are doing everything that he is doing. They're copying him. At last, he became so angry that he pulled off his own cap, threw it on the ground, and began to walk away. But then, each monkey pulled off its cap. And all the gray caps, and all the brown caps, and all the blue caps and all the red caps came flying down out of the tree. They copied him again. So the peddler picked up his caps and put them back on his head. First his own checked cap, then the gray caps, then the brown caps, then the blue caps, then the red caps on the very top. And slowly, slowly, he walked back to town calling, Caps! Caps for sale! Fifty cents a cap! I wonder if he sold any caps at all later that day. I hope so, after that adventure that he had with the monkeys. You know what this means? Time to shape. And just like I told you earlier, you can use anything to shape that you like. This is a water bottle with dried peas or beans in it. This is rice. That makes a nice sound in a plastic bottle. Or maybe even a little container like this. This has quinoa in it, a little plastic tub. You can use any kind of container, any kind of drape dried grain, um, corn, unpopped corn works, all kinds of things you can use to make a sound. I'm going to use my shaker eggs and we're going to get our song ready. Are you ready to shake with me? I sure am. Whoops, got to turn my sound up and it's not working. Hmm. There we go. I think. There it is. Shake it, shake it, everybody, shake it. Shake it, shake it, everybody, shake it. Shake it, shake it, everybody, shake it. Come on, shake it with me. Shake it, shake it, shake it on your tummy. Shake it, shake it, shake it, shake it on your tummy. Come on, shake it with me. Come on, shake it up. Come on, shake it down. Come on, shake it all around. Shake it everywhere you want. Shake it, shake it, everybody, shake it. Shake it, shake it, everybody, shake it. Shake it, shake it, everybody, shake it. Come on, shake it with me. Come on, 
goodbye though is it because we do always like to say goodbye with bubbles don't we so you can get out bubbles if you have them and you're allowed to use them inside or you can take some bubbles outside and do that after story time or you can just enjoy the bubbles that I'm gonna blow for you today while we sing our bubble song I'm running out of my favorite Jimbery bubbles. I'm going to have to try and get some more somewhere because they are the best bubbles. Are you ready? There are bubbles in the air, in the air. There are bubbles in the air, in the air. There are bubbles in the air. 
There are bubbles everywhere. There are bubbles in the air everywhere. There are bubbles way up high, way up high. There are bubbles way up high, way up high. There are bubbles way up high. There are bubbles in the sky. There are bubbles way up high in the sky. There are bubbles way down low. Way down low. There are bubbles way down low, way down low. There are bubbles way down low. Let them tickle on your toes. There are bubbles way down low on your toes. And the bubbles say goodbye. Say goodbye. And the bubbles say goodbye. Say goodbye, and the bubbles say goodbye. Say goodbye until next time. And the bubbles say goodbye. Till next time. Goodbye. To the bubbles and goodbye to all of you my sensory story time friends i hope that you will join us again soon thank you for spending part of your morning with me